It's hard to get away from political ads these days, not just on TV, but on your computer and on your phone. Missouri Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Falcon tells us how candidates are pushing for your vote on social media. Young voters like Charlie Dahlgren are engaging in the election in a different way. With the amount of time that I spend on social media, it's, it's hard to deny that like a lot of at least like the opinion content that I assume consume is coming from social media. Social media has become a powerful tool for reaching voters. Politicians and even political campaigns are using internet trends and memes to connect with new audiences. People should not assume that young people are disconnected or uninterested or disinterested because they're not engaging with traditional media. They are engaging and it's happening online. St. Louis University Assistant Professor Kelly Jackson tells me the use of social media in political campaigns was popular by the Obama campaign, but has skyrocketed in recent years, overtaking traditional media like commercials and physical signs. Certainly younger people are not oblivious to, to traditional media, but they are very um, focused much more on social media. Jackson says she's observed both major political parties honing social media in different ways. While Republicans tend to use social media as a way to directly communicate with voters, Democrats tend to play into influencer and celebrity trends. We see both parties also sort of engaging in meme wars online, um, and that is a way that social media is absolutely used to reach younger voters. While they are active on social media, the young voters I spoke with today say it's not the only way they get their information. I kind of communicate with my family a lot about it um, and just kind of art because my family is kind of diverse with our views. And so I kind of get informed through that and just my own research. I don't want to feel like I'm being influenced in any particular direction. You know, sometimes I get worried that like when I'm being fed content by like the politicians I already support that like like I feel that like I'm in the echo chamber. Unfortunately, Jackson tells me there is a downside to social media's role in politics. The anonymity of the internet may be contributing to the divisiveness we see in politics as people feel more comfortable attacking others online. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.